Hi. Welcome to SKM Tutorials Hub. This is the fourth video of HTML series. In the previous video, we have seen how to use headings, paragraphs, line breaks, and many more. If you have missed that video, you can watch it from the link in the description box, or by clicking the i button. Today we will learn how to add colors, and styles to our web page, and make it look more beautiful. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon for latest updates. We can add colors and different styles to our web page, with the help of HTML attributes. So, what are HTML attributes? HTML attributes are the additional information, that we can add to any HTML element. These attributes should be specified in the start tag. And the syntax of using attributes, is shown on the screen. The attribute that we will be using throughout this lecture, is style attribute. The style attribute is used to add styles, such as color, font size, etc to any HTML element. The syntax is shown on the screen. We will now see some of the properties of style attribute, with the help of examples. First of all, let's see how we can change the background color of the web page. By default, the background color is white. This will change the background color of the entire web page. If I open the HTML file in browser, we can see the background color has changed. You can also set different colors to different elements. So you can see, different colors have been set for different elements. The colors I have used here, are common colors. You can also use many different colors. At the end of this video, I will show you, how you can easily get different colors. So, watch the video till the end. Next we will see, how we can change the text color of the web page. By default, the text color is black. This statement will change the text color of the entire web page. So you can see, the text color of the web page has changed. We can also set different text colors for different elements. Note how I have written the properties, when using multiple properties in the same element.
As you can see, different colors have been set for different elements. Next we will see, how we can change the font style in our web page. This statement will change the font style of the entire web page. So you can see, the font style of the web page has changed. Now we will use different font styles for different elements. As you can see, different elements is displayed in different font styles. Next we will see, how to change the font size of a web page. Using this statement, we can change the font size of the entire web page. So you can see, the font size has increased. Now we will set different font sizes for different elements. Now the different elements are displayed with different font sizes. We can also specify the font size, in terms of pixels. After saving, you will see the web page like this. And the last property that we will learn today, is text alignment. By default, all the texts are left aligned. We can set the alignment to right, center, or justify. This statement will set the text alignment of the web page to the center. So you can see that all the texts are aligned to the center. Now we will set different alignments for different elements. As you can see, the elements are displayed with different alignments. Now, I will show you, how you can easily get different colors for your web page. First you have to download Visual Studio Code, or in short VS Code. I will put the download link, in the description box. After installing, open your HTML file in VS Code. You can see, wherever I have used any color, a small box is displayed showing the respective color. Move your cursor over the color, you want to change. Click the color area, which you want to set. You can also adjust the opacity of the color, using this bar. So, in this way you can select any color for your web page.
So, after changing the colors, our web page will look like this. Hence you can see, how easy it is to set colors using VS Code. It also has a great advantage of auto-completion, which can be very helpful for big and complex projects. But I think the beginners should prefer Notepad, over VS Code, as it will provide them a detailed understanding of the syntaxes. Which text editor do you prefer? Tell me in the comments. In the last video, I had created this web page. After applying colors and other styles, it is now looking better. But it's still missing images and links. We will learn more things, in the upcoming videos. So here I am ending this video. If you find this video useful, like, comment, and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.